Cheryl? Well, Ron and Kathy, the men were on their way home to Detroit on American Airlines Flight 590. It was scheduled to depart at 11 o'clock last night and arrive here in Chicago at O'Hare Airport Wednesday morning. But the flight was canceled, they say, because of the way they looked and sounded. They are Iraqi Americans standing proudly but confused at Lindbergh Field in San Diego. We work hard for this government. We work hard, we work hard for this, 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 this country. Mm -hmm. And we could prove ourselves we are good people, not a bad people. Mm -hmm. Why are we getting that if we help our people here, American people? Why are we getting that, treating like that? They are holding their certificates following a completed training mission for the U.S. Marines at Camp Pendleton. As soon as we got in the plane, and some of us, they don't speak English, Mm -hmm. Okay, so what they did, they, um, they start talking Arabic or something. And according to Al Watan, that caused another passenger to become concerned. So minutes after the departure, the pilot said there was a problem on board and the plane was returning to the gate. The pilot didn't say why, but this passenger, who did not want to be identified, believes she knows what happened. There were several Middle Eastern men on the flight and they were obviously upset. They, I think they felt they were targeted. The lady was scared that they were on the flight. I'm missing out on money that I could be making today because of paranoia. Here in Chicago at the Council on American Islamic Relations, Executive Director Ahmed Rehab says this incident is alarming and a sign of hysteria. Judging people by their language is one step removed from judging them by their uh, religion or nationality or race. It is textbook discrimination outlawed in this country and I hope that the authorities deal with it as such. Rehab says Arabic is perhaps the second or third most spoken language in the world and the larger concern he says is that suspicion is no longer based on what you do but a person's language and race. Rehab is meeting with Homeland Security officials on Friday and he says this incident will be a priority in their discussions. And Kathy and Ron, as for American Airlines, the company's policy is not to disclose of any information about its passengers.